If you're someone who doesn't want to worry about pump failure in water coolers and wants the reliability of an air cooler, the NHU-12A is an excellent choice. It delivers exceptional performance in a compact package with respectable noise levels. It's by no means a direct successor, but it does build upon the excellence of the company's highly popular NHD-15. Instead of the dual tower design seen on the NHD-15, this cooler uses a single tower design with two 120mm fans. Also, despite the more compact design, it has a revised 7 heat pipe design that helps it match the performance of beefier dual tower coolers. This means it's one of the most high-performance single-tower coolers out there, without, however, the hard-to-manage size of a dual-tower one. The Chromax Black version gives the NHU-12A the usual all-black treatment. This is great to see, as a lot of people don't like Noctua's classic beige and a brown color scheme, even if it's iconic. Unfortunately, there's no ARGB lighting here, a common complaint with most Noctua coolers. In terms of performance, the Noctua NHU-12A is on par with coolers like the Deepcool AK620, the Cryorig R1, and the NHD-15. However, what's impressive is the fact that the NHU-12 manages to achieve this performance with a single tower design rather than the bulkier dual tower design of all the other coolers. Additionally, it performs better if you're planning to play with overclocking for CPUs like the Core i7-14700K and Ryzen 7, Noctua NHU-12A gets the job done very well. On top of that, the NFA12 120mm fans never get too loud, which is great if you care about noise levels. Even at max load, you won't get annoyed by the fan noise. The best part about this cooler is the fact that it comes with Noctua's SecuFirm 2 mounting system. This mounting hardware makes the cooler incredibly easy to install, and other manufacturers have not been able to replicate the ease of use yet. There's just one flaw with this cooler. The price. As this is a high-end air cooler from Noctua, you'll be paying considerably more than coolers that perform similarly to it. For example, the Thermalright Peerless Assassin SE and the Deepcool AK620 offer the same performance at a lower price. However, you're paying that extra for the included low fan noise adapters, the NTH1 thermal paste, the SecuFirm 2 mounting system, and the compact size. While other coolers might offer similar performance, they're also dual tower coolers that are harder to install. To sum up, what I like is the fantastic performance, the incredibly low noise levels, the SecuFirm 2 installation system is very simple, and the sleek all-black aesthetic. On the downside, it's quite expensive, and there's no RGB lighting. Ratings, design and aesthetics, 8.5 out of 10. Cooling performance, 8.5 out of 10. Noise, 9 out of 10. Installation, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10.